uh, where we um, we all go through a phase in our uh, life where uh, we need some motivation. We don't feel inspired, even though we pick up new choices. We want to work on it somewhere uh, in that path, in that lane. We feel demotivated. We don't know how to push ourselves. I think that one thing, motivation, is also very important. And how do we keep motivating ourselves? Um, is something which we need to work upon. What is that thing that is uh, also preventing us or making us to demotivate? Is not making us to rise up uh, to that occasion. Um, so how do we need to look into that particular phase? Uh, so today we'll discuss on that particular aspect because when it uh, comes to working towards our goals, uh, motivation is the key here. Um, you know, we need to be motivated uh, to achieve the success we want. Uh, whether, uh, you know, it's about losing weight or uh, studying for an exam or saving money, um, you know, without motivation, it can be difficult to stick to a routine and stay on track. So motivation is the reason a person acts or behaves in a certain way. So motivation is that driving force that makes people, you know, makes us to get out of the bed in the morning uh, with that happiness, with the jolt of energy. So it, it, um, it is that force that makes people to make decisions and set goals in their life. And more importantly, it is that reason they follow through with those decisions and achieve ultimately their goals or whatever they want to do in their life. So uh, motivation, you know, drives us to act to achieve goals. It is, as I said, it's a very, very powerful tool, uh, a very important factor in everyone's life journey. And uh, it is that intrinsic force, I would say, that that is that basic human need, uh, which, you know, uh, which helps us human to grow and develop as a person. So just imagine a world where no one was motivated, like no one is inspired. What would have happened if people didn't have the desire to succeed or to improve their lives? You know, nothing would get accomplished. You know, people would spend all their time doing nothing because, you know, they've had, had no reason to do anything else. So think about yourself. Do you ever, you know, feel like there are things you could be doing, but you are not doing it for whatever reason? Or maybe there are goals that seems so far away and impossible for you. You want to do it, but you know when you look at those goals, you feel like you know it's impossible. You don't feel like motivating. You you don't get that energy, um, you know, to go to get up and start doing that task. You know this happens because we all lack motivation somewhere or the other uh, when it comes to these tasks or goals. So this lack of motivation causes us uh, not to want them as much as we would like to want them. You know, there is a duality that is existing there. So there is a paradox that is existing there. This is all happening because due to the lack of motivation. So nothing gets done, you know, um, you know, uh, we won't achieve our goals, you know, that uh, energy, that drive doesn't happen to us. Now there is fat fatigue and, you know, this lack of motivation also uh, robs us from inspiring, you know, getting us, uh, going to that dimension of creativity. We lose creation, uh, creative ideas also because of this lack of motivation. So what happens sometimes? Fatigue. What is this? What do you mean by this fatigue? You know, this is something, you know, you feel lethargic. Uh, you know, this also leads to lack of motivation because we just don't feel like doing anything anymore. We are so exhausted with our everyday work, our, you know, your office work, your day-to-day -day household activities. And the rest all seems to be unimportant. You're so... Um, you know, contained in that uh, vessel that every uh, energy is lost there and, you know, there is so much fatigue, you needed some rest and uh, that is very important for you to move to that other dimension. So at that point of time, uh, there won't be any motivation and there won't be any inspiration or any creative idea that is coming to you because of that fatigue state that you are going through. So other thing when, when you don't feel like motivated is because you are finding yourself in the middle of a negative thought spiral, I would say. You know, uh, it can be overwhelming and, you know, this negative thought spiral, I'm saying this negative, continuous negative thoughts. So it becomes so overwhelming and it even leads to a phase of depression in each one of us when we go through that particular state. So that's because when you have this negative thought, it usually 
one negative thought as we all know that it's thoughts are like the train or you know the continuous bogey that keeps on never ending um, you know uh, bogies that get attached to that engine so every one negative thought you know brings up another negative thought attached to it so it's like a spiral and keeps on going there is no end to it and uh, um, it leads to another and you'll hit such a low point that even you know you don't feel like talking to anyone you don't feel like meeting anyone even people who want to meet you also by the way that you are reacting they also won't come near you so it's pretty easy for these thoughts to become so self fulfilling like prophecies that when we believe certain things about ourselves or the world around us we are more likely to act and behave in a way uh, like our thoughts and beliefs are so it's very important that we need to check our thoughts is this particular lack of motivation or this um i'm not being inspired i'm not being motivated is it because the type of thoughts that are coming you need to be aware of those thoughts so sometimes you may feel uninspired or demotivated because there are too many distractions in your life so if you have a job that takes up a lot of your time and energy um that can be one of the reasons why you don't feel inspired or motivated to do any other things in your life so you are busy with work and you get very easily you know given a day when as um, you know when you try to see uh, every each and hour each and every minute that you have used in a day you'll see that there are many ways that we are getting distracted in our day by social media by emails by unnecessary phone calls uh, by activities that are no important to us uh, nothing to learn nothing inspiring so we're just doing it like a, uh, just like uh, you know not even using your intellect mind so when we see that all these things are happening around us we are getting so much distracted that there is no motivation for us so on the thought top of that if we are surrounded by people in your life that who are not supportive to your goals who are continuously discouraging your uh, whatever things that you want to do that could also be another reason why inspiration and motivation um, doesn't come e- as easily as they usually do so other uh, reason i find, um, we can see is that we lack motivation and inspira- uh, that inspiration doesn't come to us because we are afraid of failure um because of this fear our creativity and you know that uh, spark of energy this just goes down so if nothing what you know um, but it's okay to think that you know um, obviously it's not okay i would say but you know sometimes that feeling will come to our mind that if nothing is at stake if i'm not got, gonna get any materialistic success or anything um why would i need to try it why would i want to do it but uh, when that is a different dimension that we might think but when something is at stake and when we fail which inevitably happens many times you know we we'll lose the uh, what do you say our Uh, self esteem or that uh, ego comes into play you know it comes it says that you know i am not good enough what if everyone hates me and you know um you know all this uh, negative thought patterns keep on coming even before you know we want to do that work so that itself is creating a negative loop for lack of motivation and uh, sometimes you know boredom also can lead to lack of motivation you know it can cause us to lose um interest in things we once loved so when you are bored um what happens just observe you know when you are bored you will quickly fall into negative habit patterns that are not good for your mental health so boredom can sometimes be associated with depression also so when you are depressed or experiencing something as traumatic as you know losing someone or breaking up in a relation or you lost a job or uh, you went through some uh, negative um Uh, disrespect or something that is hurt your ego patterns that would say it your motivation will completely you know quickly it will drop out will drop down so when depressed sometimes people you know you need to understand you need to understand that what type of mel- mental health status that i am going through because this happened to me uh, like couple of years back um, when um, i i try to un- i was understanding that i was going to that going through that phase of depression because nothing was motivating me um i was like feel i was feeling like i don't want to do anything um you know uh, uh in my day to day activities sometimes i don't even feel like eating food also so it's very important that you quickly understand that what is happening to you you need to be aware you need to accept 
that this is what i'm going through and let me see how i can come on come out of it so um, it is so um, devastating sometimes it happens to us that you don't feel like getting out of your bed in the morning you know let alone uh, you know doing your regular task you don't want to do anything so if you feel like this is how you are feeling right now then you don't know how to fight back against these negative thought patterns it's very important that you take some time off from everything else so that your mind you know it takes some rest without being distracted by other tasks uh, that seems important but they are not lifting up your spirits so it's very important that you find out what is it, what is that one thing that will help you to get out of that particular phase so rather than putting some um, uh, mountain level task first it's very important that you understand how you need to get out of it so then uh, see look into things and uh, motivate yourself to get out of that so it helped me that i i used to do like early morning gym uh, exercise helped me to get out of that uh, phase where i was going through so everyone uh, needs a little motivation now and then because motivation is needed in every area of life especially if you want to achieve your goals uh, because without motivation it can be much harder to find that energy to do what needs to be done and you need to when you need to complete the task at hand so motivation is that driving force that helps you focus on your goals and make sure that you have enough energy to keep going on your path whatever you have chosen so uh, even if the task is sometimes difficult or boring sometimes good motivation will help us to prevent the procrastination which many of us do and it helps us to allow us to focus on that particular thing better so this motivation is very very important because it gives us that extra push when we need it the most so you know so we can get things done without letting that boredom or fatigue or you know this mental uh, fatigue also i would say mental fatigue not physical fatigue to distract us so um i've read somewhere that you know with respect to psychology there are they say that the motivation can be divided into two types two categories that is um, intrinsic and extrinsic so intrinsic motivation is nothing but they say intrinsic that is from inside you know in, intrinsic motivation is the type of motivation uh, that comes from within you know it's that desire uh to feel good about oneself to improve one's skills one's uh, creative abilities it comes very naturally from inside uh and one person any person will do it because they like doing it there is no any external influence they just want to do it because they like doing it for example as simple as that you want to go to jogging because it makes you happy to be outside in the nature you know uh, running through the trees or whatever um, uh, side pathways or in the park in your um, community uh, you feel uh, you feel that fresh air in the morning so that feeling helps you motivates you to get up in the morning and uh, pick up those uh, jogging shoes and go out for a jog so it comes very naturally from inside or you want to help a friend of you because they helped you in your bad times so that motivation comes from inside that you go take that uh, couple of steps you know uh, a leap to go and help them so this self this uh, determination and self esteem that we talk about are the aspects of your intrinsic motivation you need to identify it where this type of motivation is coming from so uh, in, it means that you know these actions or whatever that you are doing are guided by your own desires rather than by some external influence so uh that is you know you want to get fit or you want to look good or you want to go to the gym uh, because it will make you feel better rather than getting fit because someone else is telling you or someone else is um you want to look good in the eyes of someone else so this is how you know that intrinsic motivation thing you can understand from now there is another motivation they say it is called extrinsic motivation they say that you know this comes from external factors you know just like you know you want to do it you get motivated to do that thing because you want to impress someone or you might be getting some kind of reward or some uh, paid check or bonus or promotion uh, so all these things will drive you to get that work done it happens only with the materialistic world but this intrinsic motivation is something which we all have which will help us to uh, you know go through that self realization process uh, go through that process of loving oneself so we need to see how what type of this motivation is there it's not, never bad pick up any kind of motivation but just make you make yourself 
drive through that process is very important. And sometimes uh, you may also be motivated by social reasons. There's so much peer pressure around you uh, that will make you automatically, there is no other choice. You have to get up and do that work. So regardless of whether motivation is intrinsic or extrinsic, it plays an important role in how we humans act and function. So we need to uh, see how we can use this motivation and uh, uh, motivate and uh, inspire us ourselves. So there are obviously many ways to keep yourself motivated and inspired because a good way to stay motivated is to find out what motivates you and others. So we all have different methods of motivation. So it's important to figure out the best way to motivate ourselves. For example, my personal motivation uh, at that phase in my life was is to you know read success stories of other people. I used to continuously listen to those TED Talks or those um, inspiring. I used to read autobiographies of people you know who have somewhere or the other we can relate to the problem that we are going. And uh, you know when we hear how they or when we read that how they have managed to overcome their problem and succeeded it. You know, this Sajjana Sangatya that we do like we are doing every day when each person is telling uh, their own life experiences. You know, it gives us the strength and en encouragement to do the same with our own problems. It motivates us in a way or the other. So the another uh, good way to motivate yourself is to definitely set goals. You know, it's a good idea to set small and reasonable goals at first so that you don't get discouraged when you fail. Because we need to understand that success does not happen right away when it comes to changing our habit patterns. Habit patterns, if they need to change, it, they need continuous, continuous, everyday exercise and everyday practice. So for that to happen, we need to set some small, very, very small realistic goals. So start as simple as, you know, uh, I'll go for a 10 minutes walk tomorrow morning. Instead of I'll go for a 45 or one hour walk, you might go for a day or two. And for the third day or fourth day, if you're not using, used to getting up and walking in the morning or jogging in the morning, it becomes like a horrendous task to you. So rather than that, why don't you start with a 10 minutes walk and increase it like five minutes every other week? So that will help you to motivate yourself. You know, you feel very good about yourself because 10 minutes walk is doable. So you can also think that, okay, I'll start reading one page a day to improve my reading skills or... I will try and wake up 30 minutes early tomorrow. So these are all very small, uh, realistic goals that we can set for ourselves, which helps us to motivate our day-to-day -day activities. And these are easier ways to get yourself in a habit of achieving your goals. Once you trust yourself to achieve some uh, that such a kind of small goals, then you know that energy, that jolt of energy keeps increasing in you for you to take up bigger goals. So you need to see that in that way, how you can do it. So when you're looking for motivation, focus on what you want to accomplish first, rather than looking into obstacles in front of you, because obstacles are always there. Roadblocks are always there. You now the problem of human mind is that we always set our uh, or focus or put all our energy onto the obstacles we see and, you know, we a uh, fear of them every day. So rather than, you know, draining our energy there, let us see what we can do and, when they come, we'll see what we can do. So first we need to, rather than looking at the obstacles, we, let us start the path. Let us start exploring the path. So that is the um, mentality that, or state of mind that we need to have while we you know, go through this process of motivating ourselves. So um, uh, there's another thing that, you know, as you work towards your goal, um, it's very important that you find the right environment for you. Sometimes a place, uh, is also something it's not suitable it's sometimes you need a place shift to you know you go for a vacation you go for a uh, trekking or go to some uh, other place uh, live in nature for some time so change your environment if that is required if you don't feel inspired because it may be because you might be doing the same thing uh, for so long your brain is so bored that when um, there's nothing that is inspiring you nothing that is motivating you in the place that you are now when you go to a new place uh, see new people, see new, um, what do you say, be in that nature, automatically an inspiration or, you know, that kind of uh, jolt of energy keeps coming into you. So do it if it's, if it's necessary or if you can do it. Um, and the other thing is to stay motivated is uh, you need to try something new. You know, this is one thing GK sir or 
Satri sir always says that, you know, they, whenever, um, you know, they ask, whenever we have this uh, Sajjana Sangatya, one day he asks that, what is, what is that you're doing? You? Because trying something new or is very, very, very important because it helps to uh, enlarge your creative capabilities. It motivates you. So, you know, try writing at a different time in a day. Very, uh, even the routine, mundane things that you do, you can write in a different way, I would say. So try writing at a different time in a day or at a different place. Try making that same recipe that you do in a different way. Uh, try picking a new hobby. Maybe pick up an instrument and learn to play uh, it or just go out in the nature and sit with your thoughts. Or, you know, small changes like this can make a big difference in how much inspiration, you know, you get from doing something creative. So the most important thing um, here is to uh, try something new because when you do try to do something new, it will shake up, you know, it will shake up your routine. And uh, that um, routine that has become very boring and everything. So a, a room is created in your routine uh, everyday life for inspiration, for uh, thinking something new you'll be using your intellect mind. So that will motivate you. So, uh, and if everything else fails, uh, find a way to make your regular activity more fun. How can you make this mundane, everyday, boring activity more interesting? So add some excit excitement to your goals and make them more fun. So another good, to, good tip for getting uh, or staying motivated is to obviously take a break when you need it. Because... Sometimes with your everyday work, be it housewife or be it a working woman or working um, man or any person, um, sometimes you're burned out. There is no more energy for you to shift or to think or to have some other um, things in your life which might uh, activate your right brain. So it's very important that if you feel burned out or overwhelmed, don't push yourself too hard, but just take a little break. That will also help you to uh, look things in a different way, motivate you, inspire you to take something new. So it's very always very, very important that one needs to figure out what motivates you. Learn to motivate yourself, which is very important. And find new methods to motivate yourself. Because we need to understand that inspiration comes in many forms. And uh, we just need to uh, learn where to look and know where to look. So because in truth that uh, I feel that inspiration and motivation can come from many places. You can be inspired by seeing a person, by listening to a lecture or, or a um, speech of a person or by listening to a sharing of a person or by reading a book or going to a new place or just by seeing an object randomly. So you can find inspiration in nature or you know anywhere or any person that you see, you never know. So if you're having trouble, sometimes, you know, we see that we come across people who say that even for me, it happened that I don't feel, find anything inspiration, inspired right now. I don't know what to do for uh, the next project. So just look at around people, see what you want to do, what you want to take up in your life. Just explore it, work on it, see, see put some effort towards it, little effort. Then you'll see that, you know, that there's something that is there always for you. Um, the um, and the other way to feel inspired or to feel motivated is to think about the successful things that you have done in your past you know that also will help you to motivate and uh, to explore how others um, you know think that how others might have approached them differently and what how could you do it in a better way and how could you do now pick up any task and do it much in a much better way so these all things will help definitely help to motivate you and um, Always learn something new that I that I have um, I've said earlier because um, in our daily routine it's very important that we put something um, uh, new to our daily routine because it will help us to inspire to learn uh, expand our uh, skills you know that will make feel better you know we feel good about ourselves so even that also will help us to motivate and pick up any new inspiration that we want to do. Um, make sure that definitely have good night's sleep. Make sure that your physical body is properly rested. Uh, stay, always stay positive. This is very important because you need to stay positive by surrounding yourself with people who are always positive. That is very important. 
because just staying motivated inspired this whole journey will definitely drain your energy some or the uh, uh, other time because of uh, the people that we are surrounded who are not supporting us so it's very very important that you need to stay pos- positive by surrounding yourself with people who are also positive because this uh, the point here is that an inspiring person or a positive person looks at things very differently and it will help you to break down a very big task into a uh, smaller task and you know they give you a perspective and that will increase your motivational level so it's very important that you have that group of people around you who motivate you who help who are always positive towards what you are doing and definitely eat healthy have high energy foods like green vegetables and drink plenty of water do exercise because physical activity i mean by it because it's a great way to get inspired and stay healthy because exercise boosts your energy and mood it will flush that endorphins into your physical body that happy hormones which helps you motivate which you know pushes your energy which helps you to think more clearly it helps you to sleep better feel better it will relieve your stress so if you don't feel like it on a given day rather than you know be feel sluggish or be in that room because it happened to me when i was going through that phase exercise really helped me to get out of it so when you do that exercise you learned up feeling really better and uh, that is one way to motivate yourself to come out of that whatever phase that you are in so take time every day definitely physical body exercise is needed but most important here is that take time out for every day to relax your mind and your mental body is very very important and that happens only through meditation and meditation is the key here because sometimes overthinking unnecessary thinking negative thinking everything will drain our energy left and right so that meditation is very 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 important that will help us to take that break from our thought pattern and it floods our physical body or all our um, uh, what do you say emotional body with that energy required to bring that spark of energy out which we all inherently have it because we are all creative people human being is a very creative uh, being and we all need to uh, just ignite that spark or ignite that um, energy uh, what do you say that fuel that is already there in us all we need is that ignition to happen so that will happen through meditation once the thoughts and everything are just crowded down then you will see the real creative person that you are so in and the other way to be motivated is also to start doing service because when you help someone else uh, it it is as simple as that it will improve your world improve you you as a person you will start feeling better it will show the abilities that you have uh, it brings that positive emotions emotions of compassion joy and it will bring that idea of selflessness and all these things are very important and it will help you to motivate uh you to be a better person for yourself and uh, in a way it will help to to in- inspire to do good for you and also to the people around so service is also one of the uh, most uh, thing that anyone can do which will help them to motivate and go forward so always set realistic goals but also uh, have those goals that challenge you just enough that they are not overwhelming uh, or not in- or like impossible to do but as i said small realistic goals so that it, you keep pushing yourself every day so i feel that if anyone is not inspired or motivated there might be two reasons for that is that uh, you are not giving yourself the opportunity to be inspired that is you are not acting on things you are not working you are not uh, acting or you are not taking action uh, you are rather waiting for some inspiration or something to come you don't know what it is but you are just waiting for it you want for that you know something to come so that might be one reason and the other reason is that fear fear is something that is preventing you from acting on your ideas when that in- real inspiration comes so either there are two either you are not taking the action or either you are uh, submerged in fear these are the two two reasons why a person is not inspired or not motivated so instead of waiting for some inspiration and motivation or even hoping uh, that something will come eventually or some just uh, you know the divine will take the force it's very important we need to do hard work hard work is something which is essential 
uh, that every other great master has told that we need to work on yourself. No one is coming and helping you. You need to work for yourself. So act on your ideas now. Don't let that fear keep you from doing what you need to be done. So uh, letting some something lapse out. Fear is very very terrible. So don't let it and don't give up on what you want to do. So these are some things which we can look into ourselves. Like I have talked about. on how we can motivate ourselves and what is preventing us from not having that motivation or not having that inspiration to do whatever choices or whatever goals that we have picked up and why are we leaving them just in the middle of the road and not going forward with the things so these are something i felt really because um, this motivation is something which is very very important um, and how we can look into it so really would love to listen to your ideas on uh, how to be motivated what is preventing us from being motivated or inspired uh, please do give your valuable sharings would love to listen to them yeah thank you master anyone who wants to share on this aspect where you felt demotivated and how you came out of it would love to listen what made you to help to come out of that phase in your life any sharing masters would be great okay yeah lakshmi ma'am i was just i have joined very late but with little what i understood i would like to just share one uh, thing like uh, passion the way what you want to do right so and how different you can be if you connect to others you know this uh, small uh, learning of myself like i did like uh, knitting and uh, crochet and um, i long time but i think so it just happened in my colleague knew how to just move that needle around the wool okay and then in my workplace she just showed once or twice i think so and then i came back and kept on trying and later youtube youtube became my guru and kept on doing it you know kept on doing it and it just happened that i would do these thing items just to gift people it 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 is like you know any uh, people i receive at home or anyone i want to give something this is handmade so while i am knitting i think about that person and all goodness to that person so I always felt that no amount of money could buy this because i had so much of love knitted among those wool and thread and everything and it later happened that my daughter picked it up so easily at a very young age which gave me so much immense happiness because this art has to be propagated among the kids or it should go through the generation but unknowingly it did happen to me not only to her but all her friends maybe around 9 to 10 kids would come to my home and they would just keep on doing the youngest was almost 2 and 1/2 years oh. i was so you know like surprised to see how kids hold the needle so properly the motor coordination what we teach in school so much of so many things but that is every day part in our home which we don't allow our kids or we don't uh, at least i don't know uh, if grandparents are around probably kids might be picking but which is unlikely in my home but i was so happy to see all those kids and so much inspired that the 
mothers got inspired few uh, ladies in my society and uh, now we have small uh, you know unit like uh, some called as magic loops and we do sell certain crochet items and uh, my first pay i received just a week before we you know uh, around we had a profit of uh, maybe around 2000 oh so <laughs> yeah this it's almost a year or so exactly during ganesh chaturthi last year and this year and we are three of us and um, yeah it 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 felt that it's not that money but it is so much of thing that you create you create that is what i would feel you know whenever those threads are there, you create something and it brings so much smile on so many people you know, that that itself was so much you know and uh, yeah people ask me when you do what you do but then yeah i it's late night yogi's time that's what gk sir's principle and half an hour half an hour once in a while in a week and things are done for uh, whatever you wish for but yeah you everything has to be that's what i understand with gk sir's knowledge he says a daily plan a weekly plan a monthly plan and a yearly plan so we have to put it you know as uh, ravdi mam said uh, exercise yeah it has to be because uh, uh the body the although the soul so much lessons we are learning and understanding we should understand soul is trapped in this body if body is not available for you the soul can't do anything you your entire energy is just drained to keep up this body interest of life zeal of life you know whatever you are doing that love for what you do so that itself is motivation or hope for a person even if he is so old enough or even if the person is young enough if there is no interest of something that has to be brought in and how i don't know because i had lost and i brought it by just being and listening to these things again and again again and again listen is first step understand second step do try fail third step again you'll go back to the old self that is the fifth step but then again unwind and sixth step seventh step you are different every day pat yourself and then move being with such sangha and definitely years or so you'll always be a different person making different choices per day thank you ravi ma'am thank you thank you lakshmi ma'am thank you for the beautiful sharing thank you Yeah, in in the man. Hello. Yeah, hi, Ravi, man. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a very, very beautiful topic and uh, very, very close to my heart. And um, actually, Lakshmi, man, has already said everything. Like, you know, she explained it very beautifully. So there is nothing else for me to say. But I really wanted to share this. Um, that I was, and I am so like, you know, in a phase where, and if you like, you know, if you. everyone like you know, they all go through phases in their life so i am like you know i was going through a phase where nothing motivated me nothing at all like you know i have always been an artist and like you know i really wanted to but there was a time when uh, you know doing paintings and you know just singing or music all these things like they used to really motivate me and then for years and years it just didn't like you no know, there was no interest in anything whatsoever and uh, then when i came to spirituality like you know formally like you know when i joined spiritual targets i i i was in touch with spirituality on and off since when i was in 7th grade but then you know when i uh now very formally and very like you know diligently when i came into spirituality since last two years that's one thing which actually made me come again to this like you know this path where you you can say that you know i'm motivated like you know i'm i'm living like you know living the moment i'm living the life so the basic three principles like meditation sajan sangathe and uh, self study these were the three things like you know really really and even if one thing was missing i like you know when sajan sangathe was missing and i was just doing the meditation after some day after some time like you know it used to just you know the the effect of the you know the effect was wearing off so then you know i thought that probably like you know it's the 
it's a sajan sangate which you know makes it more the 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 uh, what do you call the mixture of these three really really like you know makes like clicks clicks it like the whole thing and uh, it gets you going so those were the three things and of course like you know as you said and lakshmi ma'am said exercise so walk really really like you know i i started walking for an hour in the evenings and listening to all the audios what with my core sir or my permission and sir so it really really helped me immensely so those were the four things that like really really helped me just wanted to share thank you so much thank you thank you yeah. thank you yeah. thank you so much yeah. yes um med med meditation yeah that's a great name so, that's not meditation <laughs> i was in india i think i was typing the passport yeah, yeah. as my name what to do sorry <laughs> yeah it's a good name thank you lovely ma'am what a beautiful topic uh, motivation and inspiration and we all need it uh, i just wanted to share a couple of things especially being a woman i think they need a lot they tend to sacrifice themselves a lot for family and children and don't look at their own interests and uh, a time comes it came to me too when my children grew up and left i didn't know what else to do i mean i was working and that work wasn't connecting to me so that wasn't giving me motivation but there was nothing personal i was feeling and then um it was my son lucky he guided and he said mom how come you all don't have hobbies in us most of them have hobbies they do some woodwork they do something and he's like mom you don't have hobby i said no i do i used to learn uh, veena when i was small so he said why don't you pick it up why don't you just do it i was like no it's been so many years i don't think i'm good at it and this he said he just said no you should go well, you know try it out see how it is or try something new and go out do something and then i said why don't i just pick it up again and uh, i picked up veena of the problem is expectations we expect everything to be perfect you know like it should be great and i used to feel like i can't get it i can coming into i think spirituality and learned ananda brahma and all it's not about being perfect it's about you connecting to your soul you know that whatever connects you you feel good you will improve because once you remove all the distractions and you focus you learn better and you'll get better and you'll connect once you're joyful your soul soul uh, reflects that and it comes out through you so uh remo so that was a very good advice from my son i took and i think everyone should uh keep a hobby or something that they connect to uh keep it going because there will be time in life this was one time i'm sure later on i can see my parents they don't have much to do and then if you don't have that um if you don't if you're not motivated and inspired every day slowly slowly it could lead to many other things our mind takes over and takes us in past future worries and could slowly lead to more depression and other things so keeping ourselves happy and healthy motivation is very important and one point you said was very very uh, beautiful about doing something new so hobby is one thing but doing something new always engages your mind and energies and uh, i have seen that in my dad actually every time something did not work out he just let go that whole thing and started a new venture completely is to do like he used to work, be in a chemical uh, 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 idpl and all he used to work with drugs but it used to bother him uh, he had asthma and things so he just left and changed completely into a uh, diamond um, business uh, like cutting and polishing factory he learned he did that went for many years as i grew up and then that closed there was some law problem and they shut down the company he just left it and then he moved into um, jewelry design and like you know and after that he moved into farming it was his passion so he did that many years now he is at a state where he can't find something new and i'm trying to see if i can help but i have seen him just let go and start and be totally new and it 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 worked out for him and i've been inspired by him now i hope to inspire him somehow so thank you for this beautiful topic today thank you thank you india ma'am thank you for that wonderful share yeah jagruti okay. ma'am one more thing just yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. like yeah. lakshmi ma'am what she said is 100% uh, 
so true. I met her. She gave me uh, coasters made by her hand. I can feel the love in it and how, I mean, how genuine it was. She was feeling happy. I was feeling happy. I could see that. And thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi, for sharing that. It, it doesn't have to be something you already have. Like you said, you learned and you're inspiring so many kids. And it really, uh, it touched my heart when you did that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Yeah, Yeah, Jankiti, yeah. ma'am. Uh, very good evening and very good morning to all of you all. Uh, Ravli, ma'am, your every session is very uh, useful, very informative, very uh, empowering and inspiring. Uh, and uh, most of the sharing, nearly all sharings are also very beautiful. Uh, I always feel like adding few words uh, to the sharings to uh, come to the completeness of the session. Uh, this is uh, very much true with uh, every human being, today's topic. And uh, many, most of the time, not many, most of the time, uh, we are demotivated by our, uh, at least myself, I, all, I never get inspired by my near dear ones. The way they say, they 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 speak they encourage us but the way they teach us or motivate us it makes a lot of difference the way we speak the language we use the tone uh, we use it makes a lot of difference uh, and uh, i would thank i would give a lots of thanks to this two years of lockdown because before that i have never felt uh, this much motivated like i'm feeling it today at this time after coming into spirituality, I was not a spiritual person, but uh, I would like to uh, advise youngsters, mostly the youngsters, to join spirituality because it uh, helps us to love ourselves, appreciate, appreciate ourselves. It is very, very important instead of waiting for others to motivate us. So first and foremost thing is to love and appreciate ourselves and we get motivated by ourselves automatically. And then we, uh, as we start rising to uh, higher vibrations and we resonate at high vibrations, we start, we automatically start attracting such people around us from where we get a lot of motivation. At present now, I'm surrounded by so many beautiful masters that uh, there's a, a surplus of motivation. Like I'm feeling like flying in the sky on top of the world. So uh, self-love, self-motivation, self-appreciation and uh, working on the opportunities which we are given as we start resonating at higher vibrations. All these factors, there are many factors. The list is very long, but we have to contemplate and we have to take uh, steps uh, and work on all the opportunities we are given, which will uh, help a lot in all aspects of life. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you, lovely ma'am, for the beautiful topic today. And uh, thank you all of you all for the beautiful sharing and uh, for increasing our knowledge and uh, faith in spirituality and self. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Jarati, ma'am. Wonderful sharing. Yes, masters, any, any more sharings? Please would love to listen. Yeah, Gayatri, ma'am. Yeah, hi, Rabali, ma'am. Hello, all masters. Uh, wonderful topic, ma'am. It was so nice to listen to you. Uh, I remember a phase in my life uh, where I started making this. Uh, there was a charity workshop uh, in my daughter's school. And uh, each one, each uh, mother got something that we could sell. Some made like cupcakes, some baking things, some food, something. So my daughter, she made some hand bands, uh, loom bands and stuff like that. And uh, I made this, uh, that was the Christmas time. So I made the handmade Christmas cards and uh, I didn't make too many. I just make like two, three sets of it. And um, like, I think I almost made like 50, 20 cards and all were sold out. And that uh, like uh, gave me so much of um, uh, joy and uh, like motivation to do it further. 
then I started doing uh, for my team. There would be any birthdays, farewells. I used to make these customized cards based on the interest of that particular colleague. You know, some like to catch up on memories. So I used to take printouts and uh, of all the team lunch or outings we used to have, uh, like team building activities, trekking. So when we used to all have that, I have made a photo book, handmade photo book for one of my colleagues. So she liked it very much. And I started getting requests from my team, other teams to make customized cards. So I made a whole lot. I think it was like about uh, five years back in a particular team. Uh, when I was working in Nokia, it was um, made lots of them for my team and another team. Made a lot of birthday cards, farewell cards. It was, uh, it, it just gave a push. Whenever some new card requests used to come, I had to think, okay, what that person likes. Uh, some I would knew personally, some I would not. I saw if to check what they like. And, uh, and each card has to be different from the other, not the same. So it just gave that boost to, to think sometimes out of the box to do really something very nice and creative and uh, not uh, be the same all the time, not become monotonous. And that gave a, you know, a clash of uh, uh, that air of creativity inside me. And it was uh, very nice uh, to work on all those designs that used to come up in my mind. And the people who I used to give, they used to feel so happy receiving it. And the whole of the team, they used to spend time figuring out how this one was made, how that one was made. And it was nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, guys, you have. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for that sharing. Yeah, ask there's any more sharing. Love to listen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Masters, for all that wonderful sharings on the topic motivation and inspiration. So it's very, very important. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that wonderful sharings today. So, yep. Let's see how we motivate and inspire ourselves every day. That is very, very important. Uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll go into meditation. Uh, whenever you're ready, Masters, just relax. Sit in the most comfortable position. Just drink some water if you want. Just remove your spectacles. Uh, sit in the most comfortable position. Take back rest if you want. Close your eyes. Crisscross your fingers. Crisscross your legs, interlock your fingers. Just take a couple of deep inhalation and exhalations. Whenever you're ready, take a deep inhalation, breathe in. Expand your lungs. Slowly and comfortably, no pressure, no forceful inhalation. And whenever you are ready, exhale. Slowly, comfortably. One more deep inhalation. Expand your lungs. And exhale. One more deep inhalation. Breathe in, expand your lungs and slowly, comfortably exhale. Now, for the next two to three minutes, 
bring your focus and complete attention onto your physical body from head to toe start scanning each and every body part bring your complete attention and focus onto your physical body scan your forehead your eyes your nose take time let the breathing happen naturally put your focus and attention on to each and every part of your body for the next 1 to 2 minutes start scanning your entire physical body observe bring back that complete attention and awareness focus and focus on your physical body observe feel the sensations connect to your physical body you might feel some tingling sensation you might feel pain some kind of a stiffness start observing it just bring that attention and focus onto that body part the energy flows wherever the attention goes so bring that attention and awareness on to your physical body just be with your physical body observe it observe the sensations observe your heart beat feel it feel the movement of your chest when you breathe observe the sounds that your bowel makes feel the sensations of your limbs feel it beautiful masters now that the physical body is relaxed with your focus and attention on to it whenever you are ready start observing your natural normal breathing we are doing anapanasati meditation ana means in breath apana is out breath sati means being with the breath observe your breath don't try to manipulate or force your breathing just let the breathing happen on its own be that observer see how the breath is happening just follow your breath and be with your breath whenever you get carried away with your thoughts which is very 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 natural and normal whenever you become aware of it come back 
and start observing your breath. Just be with your breath. Enjoy your journey with your breath.
masters let us express our gratitude to this wonderful moment where we got together to share our experiences let us be grateful for this moment to this time express your gratitude to each and every one who is present here for the wonderful group meditation and the sharings that we get to learn from each other's experience express your gratitude to your divine physical body to your higher self the soul that resides in your physical body express your gratitude to mother nature for this wonderful creation we are an ecosystem we sharing this planet with lot of other entities the plants animals insects birds microorganisms our fellow beings which we can't see through our naked eye but play an important role in our survival express your gratitude to each and every one of them express your gratitude be grateful for the elements in the nature the soil the fire the air water the space that are a part of existence outside and inside and around us press the gratitude to your parents mother to your father to your siblings to your spouse to your children grandchildren the relatives your community members your friends extended family the people you get to meet every day some or the other way you get to have any experience with each and every person that you meet cherish those moments those experiences that you get to experience with their presence be grateful for all those moments be grateful to your guru has imparted so much wisdom to you the book that you read that has given you so much wisdom express your gratitude to that book to that author the person who has gifted you that book express your gratitude to all the materialistic things that you have in your life the bed that you sleep the clothes that you get to wear the car that you drive the bike that you drive express your gratitude for having them in your life feel them cherish them be grateful for all the things that you have because it is a way that it will help you to motivate you in your life inspire you for the things that you have in your life whenever you are ready masters just bring your attention onto your physical body just release your both the fingers rub your palms together put your palms on your beautiful eyes 
take some time and slowly open your eyes. Drink some water if you want. Thank you so much, Masters, for this wonderful group meditation and a wonderful Sajjana Sangatya we had today. Thank you.